Hi everyone, welcome back to Wall of Kitchen and here today I'm presenting, you know, domada. And domada is like a peanut butter stew or soup and is, um, most West Africans um, do have their own versions of it but this is a Gambian take on it or this is my Gambian take on how you make domada. It's nice and healthy, um, it's got slow releasing energy and you know the peanut is just, if you want to cook something with peanut, try this dish and let me know um, what you think about it. And don't forget to subscribe and to comment and to share. But I'll see you guys very soon and enjoy this video. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be blending uh, today for my domada, okay? So um, these are some of the ingredients that I'll be using in terms of making my domada. Um, but here I've got um, a medium and a little um, onion which is white onion i'm going to be blending i'm going to be using a little bit of the scotch bonnet um to blend our um with my onions and i'm going to be using some tomatoes as well to put it all in the blender nice and simple So here I've got about 480 grams of lamb and I'm going to be adding it to the pot. I know my pot is quite small but I was only making a little bit just so I can show you guys how to make this domada. So you'll see that throughout the video I will be adding a lot more water just to make sure it cooks thoroughly. I'm sure you'll be using a bigger pot than I would so that's absolutely fine. Um, so here I'm adding my uh, blended mixture which was the onion, the scotch bonnet pepper and the tomato plum. So I'm just adding that to my pot and I'm just going to allow it um, to just boil till the meat is halfway done. I'm adding a bit of salt here just for taste. I did add one Maggi cube as well. So I'm going to be adding the tomato juice that was left in the tin and this just makes it really extra rich and that's what we're trying to go for. So it's just time to check if my meat is halfway cooked before I start adding my other ingredients. So I'm just here just going to mix it just make sure you're always mixing all the ingredients and combining together. So I'm just going to check the meat which it looks like is halfway done. So now I'm adding some tomato puree. So I've added two tablespoons of tomato puree there. Again I'm adding a bit more water just because my pot was quite small. Small, um, but you won't require you to do that um, if you've got a, a bigger pot than mine. I was just trying to be fancy with this pot, but hey ho. So here I'm adding um, some nitatu, which is called uh, locust beans, or the Nigerians will call it dawa dawa or iru. So I'm adding a little bit there just because it gives it that authentic taste. So the vegetables you can add here is either garden eggs, some people add sweet potatoes, um, I want to add some carrots but I'm going to be just parboiling it so I don't want it to be overdone just a little bit. Um, you'll see that I will remove it later on in the video just because I like it a bit crunchy. You know how I roll pop that scotch bonnet in because it just gives it that nice aroma and yeah it is just well needed in there and right now i've got like my spicy taste buds so it's perfect so here i'm just checking my carrots and i'm going to be removing that also with the scotch bonnet and here i've got um the zimbabwean peanut butter and here i've got skippy which i love i love skippy it's so nice in Domoda. So I'm going to be adding two spoons of the Zimbabwean peanut butter and uh, two spoons of the Skippy. So this is tablespoon and here I'm just going to mix it and you'll start to see that the uh, Domoda will start thickening up nicely and I'm going to slow it down and cook it and get just all this beautiful ingredients to just mesh together. 
so I'm just going to taste it to see exactly what needs adding. I will be adding a quarter teaspoon of sugar. I know, yes, sugar. It does taste really nice. Try it with your domada. I like my domada a little bit sweet. I don't like it too tangy, um, but this is how I prefer to do it. So what I'll be doing is I will be adding my... Um, uh, carrots back in to the pot um, just because as I said my domada is nearly ready they're still crunchy which I absolutely love and my husband loves it too and you don't want to overcook your vegetables that's not what you want to do with vegetables so um, I'm just gonna allow it to cook again <music> The smell in the kitchen at that moment oh but here I'm adding my lime um, I added um, the whole lime in it as well so um, it just gives it a really nice balance Just want to thank my subscribers as well uh, for people who have subscribed liked um, I really do appreciate you um, thanks for always obviously coming back and showing the love um, if you haven't subscribed yet just subscribe you know subscribe and join the world of kitchen family and don't forget to press that notification bell